Hello, so continuing on this weekly contest 166, um, I'm going to do the second problem. Um, so the problem says, uh, the problem is uh, 1,282 group, the people given the group size they belong to. It's a little bit confusing um, title and, and description, but um, let's try to understand it. So we have N people and they, are, um, they have IDs that go from 0 to n minus 1. And this n here is just the length of the input, which is, um, which is group size, a list of group sizes. And each person, each of these people, belongs to only one group. And we get a group size array um, that has length n, where each um, value in the array represents the length of the group the person is in. And so for a value at position 2, let's say the value is 4, that means the person of ID 2 belongs to a group of size 4, right? That's basically what all this means. Um, and the goal from our function is to return the groups that exists and in each group, return the IDs of people that are in that group. And so it doesn't matter we can the order we return the solution in. Um, it doesn't matter the, the order of IDs. Um, and we are guaranteed that there is a solution. So let's try to solve this problem. Um, the bounds uh, are that n is um, at most 500, so not too big. Um, yeah, so let's see how we can solve um, okay, so let's see how we can solve this, this problem. So just to make sure we understood it, let's go to the first example. So in the first example, we have um, the group size array was three, three, um, and then three, and so we had five threes, right? And then one, and then three, right? So what the problem says is that the indices are the IDs of the people. So 0, 1, this person 1, person 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So what this means is that, is that the per person 0 is in a group of um, 0, uh, person 0 is in group, is in a group of size 3, right? Person 5 is in a group of size one right so that that all that that the problem that it means right and so right away you could just if you play with this a little bit you will find that well one thing that we, that will definitely help us is just because this order is not really very useful so one thing that could help us is to have let's say group um say the group of length th three just group all people um, that contain a group in, of the same size. What do I mean by that? So basically have a mapping here that for three, well, what are the people that are in a group that is of size three? We have zero, one, two, three, four, and six, right? And group of size one, we have just five, right? So let's do this in a list, right? So right away, you could see here, when we do this, it becomes really easy, right? So we know the group is of size 3. And, and we know that the people, we, we know that this here is has 6. So we know that, well, we need to just divide by 2 to get two groups of 3. And the pro, th this here would be valid, right? So if we just say, let's just take these 3. And they just take these 3. And the same would be true if we had, um, let's say, 3 and 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, maybe 6, and maybe 7, 8, 9, right? We would still be doing just, okay, let's take the first 3 and put them in a separate group, and then take these and put them in a separate group, take these in a separate group, right? And this one, there is just one already, so it's valid, right? And so, what does this mean? So, if we say that this is the size here, if we say that the size is k, well, that means we just take the list and divide it in, in, into groups of k, into groups of length k, or value, and divide it um, uh, 
into groups of length k, right? And that's pretty much all there is to it. So what this means is that our solution has two steps, right? So, so the first step is to um, convert the, the array to a map like this so that it's easier to work with. So convert array to mapping from group size, right? to people in groups of that size, right? So that's the first step. And then the second step would be to just um, for each partition each group into buckets of size um, or each map value, let's call it each map value, that's what we are doing, which is a list, into buckets of size, the key of the map, right? And and then we add everything in a results list, and that's pretty much all there is to this problem, right? Um, so it's very simple here. So let's try to write um, the solution here. So what we need to do is, so the group people, and we get um, group sizes so what we need to do is the first step right step one which is um, we need to just convert the array to a map right so that would mean well we would just need to this is the group and we just enumerate group sizes and so what this will tell us, this is the ID of the person, right? And this is the group um, size, right? Uh, maybe let's call it GS to represent a group size. And so what this means, we need to define a map that we will um, that we'll put things in. So we'll define groups map. And let's just call, define, initialize it with, um, with a list. So that would be default dict so that we don't need to check if it's empty or not and then have to um, create a list. It will be created by default. And so here, for groups map, what is the key? As we said, the key is the length here, so 3. So that means the, is the group size, which is GS. And we will add the ID of the person. So that means we will append ID, which is I. And then after that, what do we need to do? We need to partition each group into groups of size, um, gr the group size itself, right? So that would mean we'll need to go through the values in the map, so k is the group size, and then um, we can just go through the keys, right? And the values. So the value would be, um, the value would be, let's say, maybe uh, IDs, let's call them, right? In groups map, items, right? And what we will do there is we will need to define a result array here that we will put the values in, right? The final result in that we'll return. And so here what this means is we need to partition it. So the way we can partition it is just using an index that keeps, that adds like the first three values and then increments and adds the first three values and then increments and add the first three values and stops when we reach the end. And so we, we use that i here and we can just go through um, <coughs> so we can just say while um, that id that i value is less than the length of ids which means we we explored everything so length of ids And what we'll do is just append um, the th k first values, right? Here, the three first values. So that would mean that we will append from IDs. In Python, we can just go from i to i plus k, which means we'll append the k values after i, right? Or starting from i. And to go to the next bucket, we'll just increment i by k. And uh, that's pretty much it. At the end, we'll return result. So this would be 
this year is the first step where we convert it to a map, and this year the first step where we, the second step where we um, put everything into um, into the final result that the problem asks us. And yeah, so that's pretty much it uh, for this. So let's type this code into lead code and make sure it passes test cases. Um, okay, so I just typed the solution that we just went over. Um, so just collect, have this group mapping, right? And then put the IDs um, in each group they belong to. And then um, go through, um, the, this is the group size and this is the IDs in, the, in a group of that size. And then we go through the IDs and we partition them into a groups of length k. And then we add those into in the final result. And every time we increment i by k because we added k values. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So let's run this. So one advice here, when I was um, uh, reading the problem, a little bit confused about the sa statement, um, just start playing with the input, and uh, and try different things to get a to get a, a hint of what to do, and also to not stay stuck for a long time. Um, yeah. Um, so one slight change we can make here is use a list comprehension. It's just good to get used to uh, to it in Python. We could. <coughs> Instead of this for loop here, we could replace this with a with a quick list comprehension. So how would that be like? So we can do it like this. And so what we the main thing we need is these IDs here to add them to the list. And the final result that we return is this this list. So that tells us that we need to return a list comprehension for um, the IDs right of i and i plus k. And now we just need to uh, define where i and i and k come from and where ids come from also so k is comes from this loop here so something like this in a group map items so we could just put that here in the list comprehension and where does i come from i is in the range of ids so we just can say here uh four so you can see here in the list comprehension this is first and then this is uh afterwards and so here i is in the range of IDs, but you could see here we increment every time by k. So that would tell us that we need to start from zero until the length of IDs, but we need to increment by k every time. And uh, in Python, range has a third argument that you can tell what you can tell a uh, teller um, by how much to add. By default, it's one, but you can change it to be whatever number you put here. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. So let's just run this. Okay, let's submit. Um, yeah, so that passes test cases. Um, yeah, so uh, please like this video and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.